Hey everybody, Josh Aravinerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan with another AB comparison video for you. Now these things take a lot of time and effort to put together, so if you appreciate them, please give our team a call, give us the opportunity to earn your business, and uh, hit that like and subscribe button, you know? We, we want to know if we're doing a good job. Now along the way, if you think I get something wrong, if you miss something, if you appreciate it, leave us some comments and let us know. So what we're going to be looking at today is the Jayco Eagle and then what you would call a sense its big brother the Jayco North Point. They are two gorgeous gorgeous fifth wheels that do a lot of things similar but you if you just look at them you see well there's when I go from here to here there's there's a price difference what am I getting for that and that's what I want to show you in this video. I want to show you where they're the same and then show you where North Point kind of kicks it up a notch like Emerald Lagosi. <laughs> Bam! So first of all, just to kind of set the stage, I want to establish where they're similar because they are at their core, very similar products. And effectively what I want to do with this video is uh, show you where they're the same. And then after that, show you something on the Eagle and then show you how North Point goes above and beyond there. So one of the first things here is their structure. Their core build between the two RVs is essentially identical. We'll see two areas where North Point goes above and beyond. What is also nice is since they are basically built the same, Jayco has decided to expand what was previously only the North Point and Pinnacle warranty, Jayco's two plus three year RVing warranty for full time RVing. That normally is not something that Eagle used to have, but since they all share a structure, Jayco said, you know, it makes sense that Eagle, Talon, Seismic, even Eagle HT should all have that same two plus three year warranty with allowances for full time RVing. That does mean that Jayco has more RVs with a full-time RVing allowance than any other manufacturer out there, and I think that's pretty cool. So like all Jayco's, Eagle rides on a totally custom-engineered chassis, but you see how the lower ground level is basically one straight beam. Now that still gives them some pretty awesome pass-through storage compartment space, but that is one of the areas that you will see different when we move over to a North Point. Whereas when we jump over here to North Point, if you see the, the main deck chassis that we're looking at, once we get near the front, you're going to see what's called a drop frame. You actually go to a second I-beam basically that drops down and it allows for that huge pass-through compartment that you love on a North Point, like a big full-timer fifth wheel. And it's certainly not that the pass-through on the Eagle is insufficient, but there's, there's absolutely no denying it. When you go over to North Point, it's bigger, it's badder, it's better. Like all Jayco's, the Eagle rides on Goodyear Endurance radials, and they were the first in this class to standardize that, and even now, only a very select number of manufacturers have done it, and even then, only sparingly. Jayco does it across the board. These things are American-made, American-sourced, and they rate it for up to 87 miles an hour, but please don't be towing 87 miles an hour. Whereas when we go over to either the North Point, the Talon, the Seismic, you stay Goodyear, but it actually goes up to the Goodyear, it's like a beast radial is what it's called. It's a bigger, physically larger, like bulkier tire. I, the, the name Beast is applicable. I mean, look at that thing. That's a big chunk of rubber. It's actually so large, they had to re-engineer all of the chassis that use that tire because they the axles had to be spread further apart. The idea there is like, uh, you know, greater load ranges and less heat uh, absorbed by the tire while you're traveling. Now the only other structural difference between the two is just the way they handle their, their roof rafters, basically, the trusses. I'm standing in an Eagle right now. It's got about a six and a half foot clearance in any of the upper decks, whether it's the bedroom, the bathroom, the whatever. And for a guy like me who's about 6'3", uh, you know what? It's plenty of room. I can walk around in this, no problem. I can stand in the shower. I don't have to duck. That's good enough for me. But. When we jump up to North Point, it starts at six and a half foot tall. And then as I pivot around, you see how it actually vaults up. This is one of the things that I really like on North Points and Pinnacles is they have a vaulted, well, not a vaulted roofing system, a double vaulted roofing system. It's not just round outside. It's also radius on the inside. And now they're both using what they call the Magnum Truss roof system. All Jayco's use that. But what North Point and Pinnacle use is called the Magnum Truss XL6 system. Basically, they have six inch thick rafters that are both vaulted. One, well, really two benefits to that. First is obviously the fact that I get even more headroom in here now. So if you're even taller than me, if you're six and a half-ish or something like that, 
North Point and Pinnacle will give you some headroom you can really appreciate because it's the same in the bathroom if the bathroom's in the upper deck. It kind of varies a little bit by floor plan, obviously. What is also nice about this, though, is since the, the trusses are equidistant apart, they have the same radius inside and out, that means they have the same insulation all the way across the roof line. Technically speaking, an Eagle, although very proven into the 0 to 100 degree four seasons functionality, and Jayco tests and proves every single floor plan individually, which not every brand does. Keystone does, Jayco does. I'm not aware of another brand that tests every single floor plan that they give that designation to. That's a big deal to me. There's Because they're not making promises, they're proving it. That means something. Uh, Technically speaking, though, an Eagle does have a little bit less insulation along the roof to sidewall transition, but that's not necessarily uncommon in the RV business, and obviously their testing data proves it's still more than sufficient for both hot and cold climate use. In terms of leveling and easy operation, they both do the same thing just in a little bit different way with some different hardware that really helps define their class. Eagle does use automatic leveling. It is a four-point electric system. Whereas when we step up over here, we get a six-point hydraulic system. Six-point, obviously, in theory, offers uh, some extra stability. The thing is, although Eagle floor plans can get big, North Point floor plans tend to start big and then get even bigger. So the extra stability over here kind of makes sense, whereas what you would call reduced stability on an Eagle is sufficient and appropriate for their size and weight of floor plans because you're moving up in money and weight when you go from Eagle to North Point. It's not like it's just an equivalent exchange or anything like that. That's why I'm showing you this video so you understand why does a North Point cost more than an Eagle? These reasons are reasons why. Now, Jayco had been very slow to adopt hydraulic auto leveling. Like brands like Montana had been doing it for years and I get it that it's faster. It's nice that you just spend more time camping, less time setting up. The electric system is a little slower. The hydraulic system does use more electricity than the Eagle electric system. And in previous years, the reason Jayco never did is because they are a proven cold camp rated rig. Common RV uh, auto leveling hydraulic fluid for a number of years was not good in sub freezing situations. It would actually gel up and cause your motor to amp out. Well, Jayco basically found a new supplier. It's pretty much, it's like Dexter brake fluid, basically, but it works just like hydraulic fluid and it doesn't freeze. So that gave them the perfect opportunity to switch over to a six point hydraulic leveling system to give you that faster operating and uh, extra stability benefit that I think in a bigger fifth wheel, you're really kind of almost expecting in today's world, you know? And it's a bit of a fine detail, but that's the kind of stuff we gotta look at when we're really compared to really stud level, alpha level fifth wheels like this. This is the front end of an Eagle up here. Uh, you will typically not find generator prep on a lot of Eagles out there. That will vary a little bit regionally. Uh, what you will find though standard is room over here for four batteries, which is pretty boss. And as David Letterman would say, my next guest needs no introduction. The big, like I think it's the largest in-class front storage area uh, that comes on North Points and Pinnacles is is pretty unparalleled. It gives us room for at least six batteries if you are so inclined. So if you're going to be some off-grid solar warrior, you want to pack just a whole bunch of Battleborns or Dragonflies or whatever, which by the way, we're a Battleborn dealer. If you need those, we can get you set up here at Halid RV right from the word go so that you don't have to go sourcing and installing stuff after the fact. We do full solar installs too, by the way. But they give you more space up here. And if nothing else, like the inclusion, because they have the drop frame, because this area down here is like the same size as an Eagle. This area up here is bonus space as a result of the drop frame chassis that they're using on these. They can give you a little more storage space. Now, on um, North Points, you will tend to find Gen Ready a little more frequently than Eagle. In both cases, if you Gen Ready an Eagle or a North Point, you will expand your propane capacity. On an Eagle, you'll go from 60 to 90 pounds of propane. You pick up a third 30 pound tank. On a North Point or Pinnacle, you go to 120 pounds of propane when you go Gen Ready. Um, and you actually go to triple 40 pound tanks. That is a big reason why North Point and Pinnacle Gen Prep costs more because you're doubling your propane capacity. But even if you're not gonna go solar, if you just wanna be able to, I just want all the propane in the world, it's a, it's, it's a cool feature to add. And I hope you appreciate the effort crawling under slides, getting dirty to get you the footage today. So back to an Eagle. 
Um, in terms of ride and handling, I think that they both fall into the superior category. They both have things like the Moride CRE 3000's uh, rubber shock dampening system. CRE, compression rubber equalizing 3000, three inches of vertical travel there. Uh, they have um, like the, the Easy Lube Dexter wet bolt fasteners and all kinds of things to make it a more smooth process getting it to your campsite or back home. North Point will take it up a step though by also getting the fifth star in their five star handling package with the rubber shock dampening Moride pin box as well that is just not present on the Eagle anymore. It used to be there. They had Eagle used to have like four different pin boxes and it was just becoming too confusing for the builders, for the buyers. So they just really standardized it so that Eagle back there has a normal pin box and North Point has a fancy pants pin box. Um, that's a technical term, uh, according to corporate McStuffy pants. So once again, when we step inside, starting with the Eagle to kind of set the tone, what you're going to see are a lot of very similar design elements, just where North Point goes another step beyond. Thing is, it's a bunch of little things. I don't want to bore you with too much minutia. I just want to give you some general ideas. One of the areas that they do vary a little bit are the refrigerator options. What we're looking at here in the Eagle is the new standard refrigerator. Both a North Point and an Eagle standard now for 2021 and moving forward uh, for the foreseeable future anyway, have an 18 cubic foot residential electric only refrigerator. It's cool that it has like the little water tap and all that kind of stuff. Um, it is larger than what Eagle used to have. On an Eagle, if you upgrade to the two-way fridge, you do actually shrink down a little bit to a 12 or what they call it a 13.5 cubic foot uh, cold storage capacity because basically you have to add an entire cooling system to the back of it, but that does make it far more off-grid friendly. And uh, there are some other benefits to it. I'm not gonna get into the fridge debate today. I do that enough in all kinds of other videos. Now, refrigerator aside, I want you to take just a couple quick mental notes, like just for a minute, just look at, soak in that oven, look at the sofa. And what we're gonna do with that is just kind of give you some comparative details between the North Point and the uh, Eagle that we're standing in. Almost forgot what I was doing here for a minute. Now first here, just a quick flyby to kind of once again show you the AB comparison of the living room. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to start going through just rattling off one, two, three, four, five, like all the variances. And what you're going to find is when you get to a North Point, there's not a lot of major interior differences. Instead, what you're going to find are a bunch of little, very nice luxury functions, things that you will appreciate and it'll just kind of enhance your experience a little bit every day. Like a good example, look above the slide out. When we get to North Point, you actually start to pick up LED accent lighting above the slide. Now it's beautiful and it makes the RV look and feel a little larger, a little nicer, a little brighter, a little better. Um, it is also a neat little kind of night light feature that you can use, although both of them do have dimming main cabin lights with their uh, BM Pro system. Now, when you upgrade to the two-way fridge on a North Point, you stay the big capacity. Like this is an 18 cubic foot uh, fridge and freezer. What's also really nice on this, this is these are two easy to miss features on a North Point. And I tell you what, manipulating a fridge door like this on a mirror image while you're holding your own camera and trying to do it like weatherman, that is tricky. I've got some newfound respect for the weatherman. Let's give a hashtag weatherman out there for <laughs> respect there. But on a North Point Pinnacle, when you go to the two-way fridge, you are getting an ice maker, not just some uh, little ice trays. Additionally, both North Point and Eagle have the Jayco drinking water system. So basically this RV has effectively its own like five gallon, looks like a Culligan jug with a Jayco Bluebird on it. Um, and they're located in a little bit different spots. In an Eagle, it'll be right here under the island. In a North Point in a Pinnacle, it's actually in the pass-through compartment, and it's there because it's plumbed a little differently. Now, in both cases, it's completely separate from any holding tanks, like your freshwater capacity has nothing to do with the Jayco drinking water system. But it does actually, um, it has its own 12 volt pump, so it's super off-grid friendly. And uh, in the case of a North Point in a Pinnacle, if you get the two-way fridge, it actually does feed the ice maker. So you can make sure you have clear purified water for your drinks. So you're not putting the local campsite lake water into your drinks that you then filled with like purified bottled water. Just a little more thought and consistency goes into it, but it's a bigger, higher end, a little more expensive feature, which is why you find it on one and not the other. Other kitchen features also get touched up when you move up to a North Point. For instance, you get a bigger microwave and it's convection, not to mention the oven. North Points and Pinnacles both use this Insignia oven back here, which 
looks and feels very much like a residential type oven. It has four burners instead of three. That is uh, one of those little very uncommon things you don't find a lot in the RV business anymore. It's also a larger physical capacity. Now what is kind of cool on the Eagle is it does have like a glass top flush mount cover to give you some prep space. But once again, North Point has become, I, I don't like the word gadgets because it sounds cheap and gimmicky. They've become like the detail feature king of the luxury fifth wheel segment. And this is the kind of stuff I mean. It comes with this big like butcher's block style like cutting board cover you can put on the stove. So if you need prep space or you can float that thing around for serving space, it's a very multifunctional item. And really, I don't know if there's a better example of how multifunctional it is until we start looking at what it does over here on the island. Which is funny, actually, because on an island is exactly where my wife said she'd leave me if I ever said she's acting like her mother again. <clears throat> North Point's also gotten very good about utilizing interesting spaces in more creative ways. Like the little side stands over here by the sofa, both of those are going to like flip up to give you maximum storage. They just said, if there's a pocket of space, we ain't going to let it go to waste. Speaking of going to waste, have I ever told you about my college education? It turns out to uh, be the RV nerd, you don't need a degree in underwater basket weaving. Anyway, um, back to the North Point. Over here, you see a central vacuum cleaner, also with uh, what I like to call the electric dustpan. It's got a little toe kick thing where you can just sweep everything on your main floor up and just brush it right in there. You don't have to pull out the big like pool cleaner hose and all over the place. Now what's really cool about that, since both North Point and Eagle are now all completely carpetless through their slide flooring, keeping these both clean has just never been easier. North Point also includes one of these big fans in the ceiling area. And you might wonder, why does Eagle not include one of those? There's actually a very good reason for it. Uh, a lot of RV brands use that as the, like if you're cooking in the kitchen, that big fan up there is their primary method of heat exhaust. However, this is a very fine detail that Jayco does in all their fifth wheel kitchens, both Eagle and North Point, is the uh, microwave that we're looking at over here. It is also the stovetop vent hood. So it doesn't just suck air up. It doesn't just have a charcoal filter to get rid of the smell. It's actually got a vent on the outside of the RV to exhaust that cooking heat. A lot of big high dollar fifth wheels don't have that vent. That's an extra what I call Jayco doing Jayco things. And this is where North Point takes it the next step above and beyond a needle. It also thankfully does have that handy rain sensor. So if you leave it open and you step away for a while, you go on a bike ride or a walk and some weather rolls in or anything like that, or if your RV's just parked somewhere seasonally and uh, it's raining while you're gone, it'll close itself up. So by the time you get back, you just didn't even realize it happened. Pretty cool. Now the Eagle bathrooms are certainly no slouches but North Point and Pinnacle bathrooms are like a work of art. And you've actually watched a lot of other brands uh, really just kind of RV, R&D, the Jayco bathroom. If you're not familiar with it, RV, R&D doesn't stand for research and develop. It stands for rip off and duplicate. Because uh, not just the height adjustable sh uh, hardware there in the shower, but that easy, like fully enclosed walk-in shower with that 300 pound rated fold down teak seat over there. You have watched a lot of the copycats jump on that board. Now, don't get me wrong. Jayco certainly borrows inspiration from other brands as well. No RV company is immune to it. I believe that wholeheartedly. They all borrow ideas from each other, and they all have slightly different advantages, and that's why we carry different things here at Haywood RV. And this is another one of those Eagle versus North Point things right here. You see these lower accent lights? There's also lower accent lights in the kitchen area. In North Points and Pinnacles, one switch will activate all of the low accent lights in every room of the RV at the same time. So if you wake up at night or if you have a guest and they're not familiar with your digs and they need to get to the bathroom or whatever, you can navigate the RV or they can uh, quickly, safely, and easily. And as we're nearing the end of our run, once again, I just want to say thank you for tuning in here. And if you appreciate what we're, we've done, hit subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know we've done a good job. Appreciate all the comments, by the way. And uh, if there's something I've missed, if there's something you like, leave a little note, point those out. And if you have a question, I'll do my best to circle back and try to get them all answered. I actually do try to pay personal attention to every single comment that comes through our channel. That is my commitment from uh, my family to you as a prospective just viewer or buyer, either way. Uh, so back to the topic at hand. The variances here, we're up in the bedroom of a North Point. When you're in a North Point, you will pick up a uh, bedroom TV standard. Now you're going, there's no TV over there. Um, I'm aware of that. Uh, when the RVs are out here for display, we unfortunately do need to take the TVs down for storage. It's kind of sad. It is what it is. It's just, 
it just is what it is. Now, one of the other major defining qualities between the two is what's going on with the washer dryer prep in that front closet. All Eagles will have uh, at least combo washer dryer prep, and most Eagles are just that. They are prepped for a combo washer dryer. North Points, by comparison, are stackable washer dryer ready or potentially in specific floor plans maybe side by side but basically separate washer and dryer capable biggest reason for that is the fact that if you're looking here in an eagle the bedroom kind of tapers down the ceiling does a little bit there's not quite enough room for two devices in there in a north point it is six and a half foot all the way up to that front closet plus the vault that leaves plenty of room for a uh, stackable washer dryer scenario there will be very limited uh, examples of an Eagle having stackable washer dryer capabilities, such as their front bath and a half, the 336 FBOK that we have here at Halet RV. So uh, again, there's some people that care about that, some that don't. For some people, that will be a make or break factor. And in one of those little Jayco doing Jayco things kind of moments, you also see where uh, North Wayne is not just like Wi-Fi, LTE, router, access point, whatever you want to call it, capable. They're actually installing the thing. That's the little wacky box up here above my balding head. It's not a forehead, by the way. It's a five head. <laughs> it took me a lot of years to work my way up to that. Anyway, uh, it's just those extra things that go into North White. Eagle is everything that really, I think, defines a luxury fifth wheel. And then North Point is just that takes it above and beyond over the top kind of brand, which kind of begs us an interesting question. And to me, the question is, which one's better then? So we've gone through all this, this stuff. We've seen where the North Point goes above and beyond. So it's the better RV, right? But man, at the same time, Eagles really knocked it out of the park with a lot of features there. And for me, the answer of which one is better really depends on how you're going to use it. Now, there is nothing that says you couldn't buy an Eagle and leave it parked somewhere and use it like a seasonal RV. There is nothing that says you wouldn't be able to tow a North Point. But when you're looking at these two things, I think that they're an equivalent value because, you know, North Point has more features, but Eagle is less weight and less money. And that is right there what kind of defines them to me. Um, and it's, again, it's a little bit of a blurry variation. And sometimes it just comes down to which floor plans are offered in which brand. But for me, for the most part, if I'm going to be mobile, towing, and going, I think Eagle's the superior answer. Just because of the little bit uh, smaller size, the little bit easier towability from the weight. And if I'm going to be towing and going around, I've got a lot of travel expenses, so the lower budget on the Eagle makes a lot of sense to me. But if I'm just going to be pretty much parked one place and just sort of stay in there, I think, I think North Point kind of works a little more because it has more of those like long-term everyday heavy frequent use features that I'm going to want from an RV where I'm going to be staying a long, long time. Either way though, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. So let's say we're looking at an equivalent floor plan like a 321 RSTS Eagle and a 310 RLTS North Point. It is my belief, I do not feel you would be disappointed with one and only happy with the other. I think it's just a matter of which one would suit you a little bit better. And that's my goal here, guys. I get it. This I don't spend my money different than you. This is a big purchase. We got a lot of dollars on the line. I want to help you make that decision properly, accurately. I want you to thread that needle the first time every time with us here at Halo RV and help you get your second camper the first time. And that's that's just what we do here, guys. That's really what we specialize in. So once again, if that sounds good to you, if you appreciate what we've done today, if you have questions, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you see on any of these things back here, folks, we would really appreciate the opportunity to work with you at our family owned and operated facility. We've been here since 1989. We're a standalone mom and pop shop. We're just a very large, very successful one. And it doesn't matter where you live. These things are on wheels. We know people with trucks. We can get them from here to there. We'd be happy to get you a shipping quote. Don't worry about that. And if you think, well, I live too far away for that to work out financially, don't assume that until you've called to make sure. All I ask in return for our efforts on all these things today, ladies and gentlemen, is just a fair opportunity to work with you. And if that sounds fair, give us a call. We'd sure like to meet you. So as always, leave us some comments. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Thank you.